Welcome back to Game Vault HQ. Today, we're diving into a fun dating sim that's been getting a lot of attention. I've fallen for you. If you like romance, humor, and surprises, this might be the game for you. I've Fallen For You is a new interactive dating sim by Love Mood Studio Limited. The game came out on October 16, 2024, and quickly caught people's eyes with its storytelling and quirky romance. Imagine waking up one day, and suddenly eight different women are telling you they love you. It's both exciting and a little overwhelming. Your choices decide your relationships and lead to different endings, including normal, perfect, hidden, and Easter egg endings. Let's dive into what makes this game special. The game mixes visual novel elements with unexpected twists that keep you guessing. Every choice you make turns the story into more of an adventure, with mini-games that add random fun like memory challenges or rhythm-based tasks, bringing some luck and variety into play. This randomness might not be for everyone, but it keeps things interesting and makes each playthrough different. The characters are the heart of the game, the eight love interests each have unique personalities that keep the story fresh. From Yuangxia, who is gentle and kind, to Xu Xingqing, a cunning heiress, there's a wide variety of characters that offer different types of interactions, ensuring each storyline feels distinct and engaging. The visuals in I've Fallen For You are beautiful. The game uses full motion video, FMV, which makes the characters feel more lifelike and adds a unique cinematic touch to the experience. The FMV approach really helps make the story immersive and gives the game a different feel compared to typical visual novels. If you enjoy visual novels, you'll appreciate how the FMV elements bring a new level of immersion to the story. One of the best things about I've Fallen For You is its emotional depth without being too slow. Many visual novels can have long conversations, but this game keeps the pace quick. Players say the dialogue feels natural and funny, and the chemistry between characters feels real. The game has received mostly positive reviews on Steam, which is great for a new game. Gameplay-wise, I've Fallen For You is more about story choices than action. The mini-games, such as memory challenges and rhythm-based tasks, pop up throughout the story to add some variety. These mini-games help break the usual flow and keep players engaged, even if they sometimes add a bit of randomness to the experience. The game also likes to poke fun at dating sim cliches and sometimes breaks the fourth wall, which adds more humor. However, the game isn't perfect. The unpredictability might be frustrating for players who like to plan everything out. The random elements can disrupt the flow if you're trying to make a specific choice. While the FMV approach adds realism, some scenes could benefit from better transitions and a few moments feel less dynamic compared to the rest of the game. I've Fallen For You has a lot of replay value. With multiple endings and hidden paths, you can easily replay it to see how different choices change the story. If you like visual novels with character-driven stories and some surprises, you'll probably play this game more than once. The different endings and eight love interests make each run feel fresh. Overall, I've Fallen For You is a charming game with fun characters, unpredictable gameplay, and lots of humor. It has some flaws, but it's still a great experience for anyone who likes visual novels or dating sims that don't take themselves too seriously. The funny and genuine interactions between the protagonist and love interests make this game stand out. We give I've Fallen For You an 8 out of 10. It's a fun, heartfelt adventure that doesn't overstay its welcome and keeps you entertained from start to finish. If you've played the game, let us know your favorite character or moment in the comments below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on our next game review. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.